Sebastian Middle Martinez, MMA Net, here with Ovin St. Pru, who faces Michal Oleksichuk uh, at UFC Copenhagen. All right, so this has got to be a fighter with the hardest last name to pronounce for you so far, right? Uh, definitely. Um, I'm just going to call him Michael, Michelle, whatever you want to be called. You want to give it a shot just once? No, no. <laughs> I mean, I know I understand the feeling. People have a hard time saying my name at times, but uh, definitely. I think I've seen a flyer with his name and my name. It basically had his last name. And they didn't have room for my last for my name, so it was just his last name in OSP. Okay. So, and so he's a guy who's you know it's kind of a risky fight. He's an up and coming guy, but you know doesn't necessarily have the most established status in the UFC. What do you make of his career so far? Because I mean he is unbeaten in the octagon after all. Um, definitely a tough guy. He's one of those durable guys. If you watch him, he always come forward and he always throw big punches and whatnot. Um, pretty good wrestling too, and um, you know. It, you know, the thing about it is people don't understand it. It's the game of the UFC is you fight in the UFC, you're a good fighter. Um, you're an upcoming fighter. And the upcoming fighters now are, like, they're pretty much savages. And, you know, I was once one of those guys, and, and I'm one of the guys that have been around. And I think this is going to be my 20th UFC fight. Yeah. So, you know, for being back 2013, starting now, that's still a lot of fights, and I still got a lot more to go to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, you've got the octagon experience advantage in that sense because a lot of people do make that distinction. But you know, you can have a lot of wins outside the UFC, but it is different when you get there. How much do you expect your experience in the UFC to play a factor in this fight? Uh, definitely a lot. Um, um, camp changed for me a little bit. Um, you know, definitely my training style. Uh, I've been doing a lot more cardio now. I feel a lot leaner. I've been feeling faster. Um, Probably not as strong, but I don't need to be as strong because I'm already strong. So, But overall, I feel pretty, pretty good. And what prompted the camp change? Uh, man, I just I was, I was just looking too big. You know, that's the thing. You know, four or five years ago, it was good to be bigger than everybody else. But, like, now since, you know, the science of the game changed, you know, the fruit preparation, proper way to hydrate, you know, even cutting weight. Guys don't come in heavy anymore and cut weight. Guys actually come in the week of the fight and only have like 15, 20 pounds to cut. You know, some guys are cutting a lot. Like the everything changed in the game, and that allows people to actually perform a lot better. So, um, you know, I had to kind of taper back on that and started coming in. I came in heavy, but now I've been feeling good. I've been feeling exceptionally well. Wake up and going good. I think I got about eight more pounds to go. And I'm good. And so what can we expect to see from this uh, newer, lighter OSP event in the fight against Alexi Chick on Saturday? Hopefully a bunch of stuff that I've never done before. Okay. So. And you've been in this spot before. You know, you've, you've been the one who sort of tested some of these up-and-coming guys. What do you think makes uh, Alexi Chick different from the fighters you faced before who have also been in a similar position? Um, with him, he definitely finished guys. Like I said, he got a good pressure coming forward or whatnot and uh, have heavy hands. And he's not afraid to get hit. He's like, he's going to get hit and he's going to turn around and hit you right back. Um, definitely a tough guy. Like I said, he's got pretty good wrestling game. And um, all I got to do is just fight my fight and I know I'm going to be good. So when you say fight your fight, like what exactly do you mean Venice is the key to defeating a guy like this who no one has done so far in the UFC? Um, just be me. Bigger, stronger, faster. So as long as I do that, I'm good. And this card might become a little, uh, might uh, be overshadowed a little bit by the huge title fight uh, that we have in Australia coming up. So what do you think? Why should the fans be sure to tune in for this card and for your fight specifically? Well, it's just good for the card alone. I mean, you just should come. I mean, I got a, I think I got a pretty good big fan following and whatnot. I mean, just alone, I think they should just watch the fight because of me. I mean, there's definitely going to be other fights in there, but, you know, I like pulling on shows. I like entertaining people, and I'm going to make sure I do that, you know, Saturday night. All right. Well, there you have it. You can expect the same entertainment value as always, but from a newer, lighter, faster OSP. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck in the fight.